Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I know it's been a hectic time all over the world and I hope everyone is staying safe. The best way is to keep distance between you and the other person to prevent the spread of the illness. Um, I know that washing hands, just keeping clean is very important. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not by any means a healthcare professional, but I am trying to do my part to stay indoors, to stay away from other people, um, just, just so that we could flatten this curve. So, right. Um, today's video is something that I was requested to do. I've got actually gotten questions about this topic and I thought that because everyone is sort of you know, quarantined at home that maybe this is a good time to, to show it. The topic for today is how to shorten your handbag chain length. Now, a lot of the times the handbags do have adjustable straps, so you can adjust it, you can um, remove it, you can put on a shorter one, but I'm talking about the times where you cannot remove the chain, the chain is slightly too long for you and and or you want it to be shortened. So for me, I am only 5'1", uh, about 155 centimeters and I usually have this problem with bags and usually it is with the chain straps and the reasons because it's hard to punch holes to make it shorter in fact a lot of the times you cannot even really do anything with it I know with the walk the Chanel walk people have wrapped around underneath the flap and you could do that um but I I don't know like I I just don't like it when I open the bag it just like unravels and like it twists your bag and it flops it all over the place so I don't really like that idea uh so I've come up with other ideas and I thought I'd share it with you here so let me just show you this is a Chanel uh, sort of it's not a, it's not the Calder walk I think it's called like a clutch on chain I, I believe but it has a removable strap so that's a good thing about this one versus the wallet on chain but you see how the chain color the leather goes through it and so if I replaced it I could replace it with a regular chain but it just doesn't look as good so I kind of try to make it work this one's too long on me on my shoulder crossbody I can manage but what I've done I don't know if you can see is I took one of these hooks and let me bring it closer but I basically made a, a loop to shorten it so you can see right there that it's been shortened and when you wear it it does have a little bit of chain hanging off on this side, but I think that's okay. I think that kind of looks like a little zipper pull, a little charm, it could look like that. So I, it doesn't really bother me. And if you want it to be more symmetrical, you can also do it on this side. But what happens is it shortens the chain. And so on me, now it hits like right here. I'll try to throw in some odd shots uh, afterwards, but basically this is a removable, uh, this is a removable item. So if, for example, you wanted to make it even shorter or you want to make it back long again, you don't want to alter it at a cobbler because you don't want to like damage it or when you, if you ever want to resell, you want to be able to have the same item to sell. This is a good way to do it. So let me just show you what it looks like. It is actually this little tiny, I don't know if you can see it clearly, it's like a chain, but the chain you can like push this down and what happens is you feed one part of your chain onto this side and then the other part of the chain on this side and so to shorten the ch chain length and then you close it back like this and then lock it and then it'll stay in place and so the two pieces of chain would come right here so so that's sort of what happened right here. As you can see, there is a, a chain looped on this side and then the other part of the chain looped on this side of the metal clasp. And this thing is right in the center, this bar, to prevent him from coming loose. So that's what actually is happening in the, you know, in, up close. But when you're wearing it, you can't really tell uh, what that looks like. It just looks like part of the chain like so. so so that's one example. Um, the other example that I have here is my sh other Chanel bag. Now this one is not removable. The chain on this one is stuck. And what you could do is, yes, you could like take the chain and you loop it into underneath the flap and like so. But I, like I said, I don't really like that because when you open this up, the chain underneath can like just ravel everywhere. And that's just not my, like just not how I like 
to wear my bags. So what I have done is also the same thing. Now there's many ways that you could do this. I, I chose to do it this way, which is I took the chain on either either side and I crisscrossed it. And then what I did was I took the the, the metal piece that, you, that I showed you earlier and I attached it to either end right here so that now you have a shortened bag right here and you can see my hand, it is wrapping right underneath it. So it is a really good length. And if you look closely, you can see chains from underneath here, but I'm okay with that. Like I have this extra chain bit right here and I'm okay with that because even if I opened the bag, close the bag, it's not gonna like, the chains are not gonna come loose. They're, they're, they're very stuck right here. And then if I held it again, it, and it just looks like that if I just let it go. So yeah, I don't have too, too many issues with the extra chain that go, come across here because it's not wrapping around the handle and it's kind of loose around the handle. So it's not gonna give any imprint. And then when you lift the bag to use, the chain just stays put right there because it's it's hooked on both sides. So you can twist the chain to like make it more pretty. You can like wrap it around to make it more pretty. That's up to you. Uh, I can see if you want it to, you can shorten it only a, like a lot less. So you, instead of wrapping it across, you can just take what I did right here and just like loop it on one side. But I've noticed that because this chain is a lot thicker, um, when you bunch it up, it does kind of create a more like structure hole uh, or like a loop, like a very like strong loop. And so I don't, I didn't really like the look of that, which is why I ultimately ended up with crisscrossing this. But yeah crisscrossing it allowed it to be much shorter to my height and it is a lot harder to wear crossbody now for me but i could still do it if i want it to so i think this is a better length like i actually like this length a lot better um because i can wear it on the shoulder and then not worry that it's just hanging <laughs> um past my butt i've ordered two different kinds one comes with a little screwdriver a mini screwdriver and what you do is you just once once it's in place you kind of just screw this this bit down and what you do with the screwdriver is once once this piece right here is in place and the chains are in what you do is you screw this down and then it'll stay locked and it won't come off as easily and you can unscrew it to unlock it again so there there is this kind there is this version and I also bought a previous one where the there is not a screwdriver and all you do is just it clicks into place and that's it so i've i haven't had issues with that one either but um i have purchased both they're about ten dollars and i'll again i'll link it below so that you can get it um yeah i i mean I haven't noticed these things rusting, peeling, or anything. I don't really put them to the test though. I don't really throw them around. They, they just sit on my bag. And as you can see, like when you use the bag, it, it does put a little bit of strain on the clip, or sorry, on the metal piece, but it doesn't really like pull on it that much where it'll take a lot of wear. But I think I've had this for maybe just almost a year. So yeah, yeah, it hasn't seen that much wear either. So I can't really give a full report. But as far as I've seen wearing it on my bags, I haven't noticed any like tearing, any issues on the bag itself. The the metal p chain piece itself is okay. So yeah, I'll, again, they, they have a lot of different versions online. You're welcome to go take a look. I'll share the ones that I have used and I have uh, good re uh, results with and hopefully it'll work for you. If you have this problem and you have a different solution and you would like to share, I would definitely like to know about it because I'm always, I'm always wanting to know of different ways that I could, uh, you know, utilize my bag, but my bags better. There's nothing worse than having a really nice bag, but it just doesn't really fit with your height, you know? So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it drew some inspiration. And if you have not been reaching for a bag for a while because of the chain length, I hope that this little method, this little tool will help you in being able to utilize your bags more because look how pretty these things are. Like you, you, you pay a lot for it. So it makes sense to pay an extra $10 just to get something that you can um, use it more. If you would like to see these items on me, definitely visit me on my Instagram at clutch to carry all. If you have any further requests to videos, leave them below and I'll try to get to them. I have a lot more time on my hands now that we all have to work from home. So yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.